Today's Morning Minute, Believer's Commission, Day 40 of the Fraud Committed by Satan Against Man. Merriam-Webster defines fraud as follows, intentional perversion of truth in order to induce another to part with something of value or to surrender a legal right. Adam surrendered man's legal rights to Satan in the Garden of Eden. Below is your commission today as a believer found in Mark 16 in the Amplified Version. Later, Jesus appeared to the 11 disciples themselves as they were reclining at the table, and he called them to account for their unbelief and hardness of heart because they had not believed those who had sent him after he had risen from the dead. And he said to them, go, go into all the world and preach. Greek to proclaim, to herald, to publish, proclaim openly something which has been done. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. 2 Corinthians 5.21 He made Christ who knew no sin to judicially be sin on our behalf so that in him we could become the righteousness of God. That is, we would be made acceptable to him and placed in a right relationship with him by his gracious loving kindness to all, to all creation. He who has believed in me has been baptized will be saved from the penalty of God's wrath and judgment, but he who has not believed will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who have believed. In my name, you have legal authority with a power of attorney, judicial right as a born-again believer, son of God, to use the name of Jesus. They will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. Life and death is in the power of the tongue, the mouth, words, which can cast out demons in Jesus' name. Verse 18, they'll pick up serpents. In Greek, pick up can mean to take away the rule of Satan, the serpent, in a believer's life. You are a new creation life. You have the authority over Satan to take him away and throw him away from all the consequences of sin's effect of guilt, shame, condemnation, rejection, and inferiority, because we have been made righteous by the blood of Jesus Christ. And if they drink anything deadly, it will not hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will get well. So then, when the Lord Jesus had spoken to them, he was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere while the Lord was working with them and confirming the word by the signs that followed. Jesus Christ legally and judicially restored you back to your legal family as a child of God in the image and likeness of God. You have all the legal rights and privileges as a son or daughter of God. You are blessed. You are designed to operate at the level of your Father. You have life abundantly. You have the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God living in you. Amen and amen.